Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 22 News at Noon. I'm Rich Tedimer. MGM Springfield delivered a 90-minute presentation in front of the State Gaming Commission in Boston this morning. The theme was bringing Springfield back. 22 News reporter Ryan Walsh is live in Boston with the latest. We are at the Boston Convention Center. It's empty now, but it was a packed house for MGM's presentation, which ended just about an hour ago. If you've been following along with the project in Springfield South End, they really didn't introduce anything new, but it's new to the Gaming Commission. The Gaming Commission chairman told 22 News he came away very impressed with the presentation. MGM executives and Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno spoke in front of the commission. MGM is the only casino developer left in Western Massachusetts, but they already have beaten some competition in Springfield. The one criteria that isn't clear how MGM will meet it is what the commission is calling the wow factor. We got a better understanding of their approach to that today. They characterize the wow factor as the hard work and, uh, and thoughtful content that they had. I think from the standpoint of what we're looking for, what we kind of consider the wow factor, they didn't emphasize it. We looked down and, and tried to identify the one wow factor that we were going to highlight for the chairman because that's, that's his particular area, and it, it was impossible. We think Springfield is the wow, the great history, all the architecture, the wonderful people. Uh, we think our brand is the wow. MGM also had to respond to surrounding community petitions from Northampton, Hamden, and Longmeadow by today. They did that. The commission will likely rule on those in early February. Chairman Crosby told 22 News that if MGM is awarded the Western Massachusetts gaming license, that announcement could come as early as the middle of May. Live in Boston, Ryan Walsh, 22 News.